Hey guys, Repairman here to repair your builds. Now we have Equinox, a new revised build for Equinox, trying to get the absolute most out of it. Now the Arcanes are a lot easier to obtain because everyone's doing these missions and it's not as crazy hard to go run them. You know, the whole team of eight is no longer necessary and you can run with randoms big change so a lot easier accessible so now more of my builds will have arcanes featured in them and arcane specific builds like i'm about to show you as well as were some of the other builds i previously posted which were dedicated just to arcane a specific arcane all right so uh you know and just for shits and grins i'm gonna put the 24th forma on my fifth amprex uh because yolo all right, so let's get into the build. All right, so this is going to be the day and booster build throw together before, as I previously posted, that was just the day build. If you don't have the arcanes, go look at my other video. That's the one you want to run. Now, with the new build here, we have two arcane energizers. You might be able. You probably be able. To, you might be able to get this to work with one arcane. I haven't tested that. I have two, so I just toss on two because it's it's energy hungry. Uh, you don't have a ton of duration. You have no added efficiency. You just have basically prime flow. <laughs> so it's gonna suck up that energy pretty good. But the strength and the range are really good on this build. Uh, and with the augment, that doubles the amount of power strength you're popping out, so you're able to pump out a significant amount of power strength more, way more than the day, day build, but not quite as much as the booster, basically right in between. Because before, I believe you had like 30 some odd percent with the day build, as where the booster build gives you 80 percent, which is the cap. You can't get more than 80. Uh, now, with this build, I believe it's 67%, so basically double that. All right, so you're gonna, you get the energy proc with the energy conversion before you cast the buff. Uh, now, I don't use growling power. You could give it a little bit more of an edge, but because you generally cast your ultimate a little more often, you get a little less out of that. I rather see where all the enemies are especially if it's a real big map, it's even more critical, like the planes or something, um, interception, somewhere where it's a real big map, you'll definitely want the enter enemy radar so you can know where to centralize yourself so you're casting your ability and hitting even more enemies. Because a lot of your damage is not going to be um, from just the slash proc. Yeah, it'll do some serious slash damage with that but it will be from the absorbed damage you've taken from the enemies you killed and enemies your allies have killed and the abilities killed all absorbed in and then you release it in one foul swoop 70 percent of it i believe so for, without further ado let's get into it show you the build now equinox is a real pain to farm but well worth it because there's a lot you can do with it with the day build the third ability gives power strength the ultimate does slash damage bypassing armor and it's guaranteed a slash proc when they get within its radius just one time when it's first cast so if you're at higher levels you might need to go and turn it off and turn it back on again and the amount of bleed damage is based upon your power strength as well so power strength is also critical whether you're no matter what level mission you're doing well i mean you're doing earth uh, exterminate or earth defense and it probably doesn't matter at all what your strength is but <laughs> yeah all right we got energy conversion boom and now it started. Now because of the augment, it's not going to go up immediately to that percentage. This would be the percentage without the augment, pretty much. Uh, but now with the augment, as soon as you start getting some enemies damaged and killing some things, then you'll be able to start popping out that power strength. As you see, it's already going up and up. 
and those numbers just rolling off the enemies. Boom! As you see the map, you see the enemy, and you just clear them out. And we're already at 67%. It's reached its limit. Now, depending on the le le the levels, how hard they are, armor and whatnot, depends on how high you want to wait that for that slash or that um, damage to get up to. This lower level, you don't really need many thousands; just a couple thousand will do, or so. And with, because this has a lot of range, all your allies are going to have some substantial power strength buffed as well. And if you have a Nidus that's cast his ability on you, his link, it buffs you, you'll be able to pump out even more power strength to the team as well. Which means then when, it, when he goes and he can relink you again, he'll give you even more power strength which then means when you rebuff him again, you get even more power strength. It just compounds on top of itself. Well, there it is. So, there it is. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Until next time, keep those forms cooking.